First, I'll play the animation and then I'll show you how I did it. Jigsaw will now be an animation channel. Not for little kids. But don't worry, it won't be too violent. Uh, see, no blood. Um, subscribe. Now first you'll need a character animation toolkit. I use this one because the characters can face in any direction. This is version two, which I think is better than version three in some ways because it has more pre-built animations. Now you can use this to animate the faces. However, I use this instead because the faces need to be very expressive in a cartoon. And this does the trick. Now the link to both of these assets will be in the description. You're also gonna need the Adobe Suite, namely Photoshop, After Effects, and Animate. The first step is to storyboard your idea. I didn't do this because my animation is so short and it was all in my head. Next, record your lines. It is standard practice in animation to record the audio first and then animate after that. I used my phone and the Rode Video Mic Me. I then went into Photoshop and I drew 30 mouth positions, 10 happy mouth positions, 10 neutral, and 10 sad or angry mouth positions. With these, I can show basically any emotion and can lip sync basically anything that is being said. I then transferred the audio into Adobe Animate and then used the mouth positions I drew to lip sync. Now you can lip sync automatically in Adobe Animate, but doing it manually leads to a better result. Next, I used this program to choose the eye shape and to animate the eyes. So I went into After Effects and then I animated the eyebrows, where the eyes looked, the eyelids, to get lots of expressions. Then I took, exported the lip synced audio from Adobe Animate, put it, brought it into Adobe After Effects and combined the eye and mouth and head movements together. And then I use this program in After Effects to animate the body. So it's all rigged up and I can tr control where the arms and the hands go. And then the head that we made before, I import into this animation and then I get the expressive head that talks as well. And then that's the final animation, which I can export. That was just an overview of the process. For a greater understanding of how everything works, go to the tutorials on the Video Hive asset pages. And then there's also other tutorials on YouTube about like lightsaber effects, lip syncing, moving characters, and all that stuff. Um, subscribe.